we lose sight of who's behind what is happening around us. We lose sight that if it is good and positive, it's the Lord, and if it's evil and rebellious, it's the devil. Between the years of 1957 and 1984, I became a pawn in the government scheme whose ultimate goal was mind control and to create the perfect spy, all for the use of chemicals, radiation, drugs, hypnosis, electric shock, isolation in tubs of water, sleep deprivation, brainwashing, verbal, physical, emotional, and sexual abuse. I can only summarize my circumstances by saying they took an already abused seven-year-old child and compounded my suffering beyond belief. The saddest part is, I know for a fact that I was not alone. I'm able to report all this to you in such detail because of my photographic memory and the arrogance of the doctors, the arrogance of the people involved. I think this is interesting, and, and, and as far, you know, many people say that the Catholic Church will be the forerunner of the new world religion. There's very good books out. In fact, I think you may have interviewed one I'd of like these men. I'd like to convey the, uh, my concerns to the President of the United States, Daniel. Bill Clinton, and to the uh, Prime Minister Kevin, who they may out be on June 2nd. The church is. I, at 14 and 6 years of age, underwent uh, two unwitting mind control experiment procedures involving brain tissue removal and the trespass of 43 implants um, upon my brain. I had a great deal of length to cooperate with the hospital officials, thinking that surgery for was taking place, but in reality, uh, mind control experimentation uh, was taking place. There are no words to express my horror and anger at what is taking place. Well, I was a homegrown witch. From the time that I was five years old, I knew nothing but witchcraft. I would have known it sooner, but they didn't discuss it with me. They take you very, very young. And all of a sudden, we were discussing a world ruler that would be personally guided by Lucifer that could gain control of the world supernaturally and take control of people's minds. ...because they were more fun to work with and cheaper, too. They needed lower-profile subjects and soldiers or government people, so only young women and females would do. Besides, he said, I like scaring them. Witchcraft they is. Dave Wilkerson said that he had seen people go through withdrawal from drugs many times, but seen one witch go through withdrawal from the occult shattered his mind. The capstone above, the eye is Lucifer. The triangle of the capstone is the tribunal of the Rothschild family, which is called the Holy Family. They lead the Illuminati. They are the voice. The doctrine of the occult teaches that Lucifer comes and sets at their dining room table. When they see the table, they leave 13 chairs out, and the 13th one is for Lucifer to set in himself.